Welcome to this little video, which I tend to use as a documentation for an issue that I am experiencing on my Linksys WRT 3200 ACM Wi-Fi router. Uh, it is an issue which has already been uh, posted in the Linksys boards and uh, there it is especially regarding the WRT 1900 series where people complain about uh, significantly dropping data rates um, it's an issue that appears from time to time, especially after a long usage time and um, people experience that some connections suddenly uh, have a high loss of uh, bandwidth or um, speed rates uh, dropping to 2 megabit. I think this is uh, common. So, um, this issue is uh, regarding the 1900 series from Linksys but right now I just uh, received my WRT 3200 and there is the same thing on this router as well. Um, to document everything on this I've made this video, maybe it's helpful for some other people that are experiencing the same problem. Um, how did I uh, recognize this problem? I was surfing and I suddenly um, I suddenly saw that uh, sites were loading much longer than before and uh, after a longer time they weren't loading longer, they were fast as always and a few minutes later they were um, very slow once again. So this can be diagnosed with establishing HTTP connections but it can also be diagnosed when performing multiple speed tests on the internet. Um, to document that there is no issue with my connection uh, to, the, um, to, to the internet, um, I have a speed test over here. It is Ucla speed test, it's running on an Apple TV which is wired with Ethernet cable directly to my router. Um, the router is not the problem itself and the internet connection isn't the problem as well. The, connect, the problem only exists when using a Wi-Fi connection to the Linksys WRT 3200. This Linksys WRT 3200 is running in bridged mode only, which means that it has no functions like any router like DNS or DHCP uh, running on it. It is only working as an access point and on this constellation I am, um, yes, I am seeing this error. So, um, we will go on and I will show you, we will make different speed tests. Once uh, in the background is uh, cabled, we are even at cable without wireless LAN connection and then we have free clients which can be used to show the problem. Um, we use Ookla speed tests on every one of them devices. Uh, one is a MacBook Pro from 2012 I think. Uh, one is an iPad Air 2 and an iPhone 6s uh, on which uh, we all can um, see the problem itself but uh, it is not yes it is not uh, only to these devices where the problem appears but it's also to other devices like Windows laptops other um, other pads and uh, mobile phones as well so let's have a look at it As you can see in the background, now we will make the speed test via the wired Ethernet connection and you see that everything is fine. My internet service provider provides about 95 megabits per second, that's okay for I have 100 in the contract and the upload is in the contract with a maximum of 40 megabits per second and um, so everything is fine. Uh, I got 37 via the wired connection. So, what I'm experiencing now, when I first came to this problem, when I first saw it, was that all the um, web pages that I use were getting extremely slow. So, we are making our test here at the iPad with Ookla speed test as well. Let's see how the iPad performs. Um, the iPad performs well, everything is fine, we are all connected to the same network, we, I can show you that later. And uh, yeah, we are downloading with 28 megabits, which is okay, uh, if we consider that the router 
or better let's say the access point is placed on the first floor which is one story above us. So everything is fine. I go here and I'll reload that um, I'll reload that site, so we are doing the test here once again. And uh, you see that for some reason um, the connection speed is very limited and now we have a typical constellation it drops to about 1 to 2 uh, megabit per second. So, um, Funny, this is something that I can't always provoke um, and uh, I think it is something like uh, it is something like uh, a function like beam forming is, is not working uh, well. So once again we say again here let's have another try You can see once again everything drops to uh, to about two megabit per second. Now it gains some some speed, okay. Mm. But there is and the upload is sometimes pretty well, and there is nothing that changes uh, during this test. There is nothing. Uh, there are no doors that are opened. There are no no devices that are. Um, that are going online that could interfere with the Wi-Fi signal there is nothing like this so once again we'll try it on the iPad once again so you see it is not always uh, this problem oh wonderful now you see even the iPad drops to 2 megabits um, before everything was fine okay now we have 10 megabits everything is fine but I ask myself why is it going down to 2 megabits when the upload is constantly not affected by this symptom and uh, the upload is working pretty well on 30 megabits as we had before um, so seems to me that most time we have this problem with downloading speeds now we'll have another try with the iPhone 6s Uh, I'll start the speed test here as well. Let's see how the iPhone behaves. iPhone performs well, there is no problem. No problem yet. We will repeat the test once again. Everything still works fine, but I've already had it that the iPhone drops the connection as well, so that we end up with two megabits. So, okay, iPhone is working well at least for the moment so we'll put this back on we'll wait to back down we will uh, wait for it to finish the upload and the funny thing is that uh, really between these changes of the uh, download rates there is nothing that has changed in our in our um, home there were no devices that went online like microwaves or uh, telephones or something else that could interfere with a with a wi-fi signal there is nothing like that now the iPod once, iPad once again, everything is fine, you see it, everything works, there is no problem. Um, even though we see that we are uploading with much more speed than we are downloading. And uh, yeah, to make that sure we can have a look at the background and uh, let's see how our um, even at cable connected internet connection works 
you see our internet connection is still stable as it was before. We have once again about 93, 94, 95 megabits per second in downloading and which is fine and I assume that we will get the same good rates in uploading as well. So I can say from my uh, point of view uh, wired internet connection is available. The only problem is the Linksys WRT 3200 ACM which is somehow sometime not working properly. So we were lucky to see uh, the problem itself. Um, it is very hard to provoke this uh, problem. It uh, only appears one to two times a day but it is uh, definitely really getting on my nerves. And when I read the Linksys boards, when I read people that are complaining that their internet streams uh, stop or that something isn't working well or that connections to certain websites uh, are lost, and um, I think that this symptom that we have documented here uh, might be the cause of all those people's problems. So um, what can we do about this? As I said before, the same, um, the same symptoms have been, um, have been posted to the Linksys boards as well with the WRT1900 series. And um, people there weren't always getting the right support from Linksys and some people said just go and install double D uh, WRT, uh, it's the open source firmware for the router. And uh, those people said that after flashing the router, there was no such problem any longer. So I think this might be something in constellation with beamforming and the firmware itself. And uh, um, if you have this, this uh, issue, then maybe think about getting the open source firmware. I'll make another video on how to flash your router. And uh, I'll keep you updated uh, via the Linksys boards as well. If the problem can be solved by installing one of the alternative firmwares. So I hope you could see the problem um, even though it only appeared a short time right at the beginning of our test. Um, you see that downloading and uploading data rates uh, do not match each other. The downloading is much slower sometimes than the uploading which is um, likely untypical and uh, maybe you uh, see some parallels to your own situation with the WRT 3200 router and uh, yes maybe this video helps someone uh, diagnose that there is a problem with his router and he or she is not searching for the problem somewhere else.